Hey, this is Chris Riley. I am going to show you today a workflow to make G-code that you can use on a DIY LIL CNC uh, or actually any CNC device that takes G-code. So we're going to go through a few different programs. I'm working in Linux here. Uh, I'm running Ubuntu 10.04. So the first program I'm going to use is called the GIMP and that's an image editing program. It's kind of similar to Photoshop. So I'm going to use that to start with an image. I'm going to do some editing on that image. And then I'm going to import that into Inkscape, which is a vector graphics editor uh, for, for Linux and for other operating systems. It's a little bit similar to Illustrator. So I'll take an image into Inkscape, do some processing there, turn it into a vector, which I can then import into a program called PyCam, which is a tool pathing program that can turn either a 2D or a 3D model into G-code that a CNC device can read. So I'll make some vector profiles and turn those into engraving patterns that I can use on a CNC device. And then finally to run the G-code, I will be using EMC, which is a version of Linux. Uh, that's actually the version I'm using. And that's set up for doing machine control for CNC devices. So this is a completely free and open source workflow that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so my first step is to open up the GIMP image editor. And I'll open up a picture on my desktop of a handsome devil. So I'm just gonna do some really quick image editing here. You know, obviously you could do more if you wanted to. So I'm gonna use the free select tool to just very roughly select my face here so I can get rid of the background. Okay, so I've selected my face and what I want to delete is all this background stuff. So I'm actually going to select the inverse. So I'm going to go up to the select menu and invert my selection. And then edit, clear. I could also hit the delete key. So my background's gone and I'll get rid of my selection by going to select none. So what I wanna do here is make a really high contrast version of this image. So I wanna get rid of all these middle tones here. Um, the way I'm gonna do that, kinda of quick and dirty way, under the colors menu, I'm just gonna put a threshold filter on this image. And you can see it's just gonna nuke everything that's a mid-tone, it's gonna give me just black and white. And I can kind of adjust the cutoff point here, get a little bit more or less detail and I think that looks pretty good. So I'll apply that and I'm just gonna save out this file. So I'll do save as. I'm gonna save this as a PNG to my desktop. And I'm just gonna use the default options. Okay. So I'm all done in GIMP, so I'll quit. And now I'll start Inkscape. So I'm gonna open up a new file from a template and I'm gonna use a letter. So that's an eight and a half by 11 template. And I'll close this one. So this gives me a file that's already set up to eight and a half by 11 inches, which is about the size that I wanna make my final tool pass. So from here, I'm just gonna import. So file import, I'm gonna import that threshold image that I just made. So let's bring that in. And right now this is a raster image. So it's actually made up of pixels. And what I need to do is convert it into a vector. So it's basically made out of uh, mathematical lines. And there's a great function in Inkscape I can do that with. Up here under the path menu, I can do trace bitmap. Um, if you're familiar with Illustrator, uh, this is a little bit similar to live trace. And I'm just gonna use the default options here and click okay. And I can close out of this and I should see here, I now have two versions of myself. So this one on the left here, is the raster with the pixels and you can see all the little square pixels and 
over here this is the vector you can see it's it's smoother because it's actually made of vector lines and not pixels so I can delete this raster image and we're gonna be working just with the vector image so I'm just gonna quickly resize this to fill my page here and uh, just for visual purposes I'm going to adjust the fill and stroke properties so I just did a right click there on my uh, vector image. So I'm going to turn off the fill and I'll just set the stroke to black so I can see those are the lines, the vector lines that I'll be using to make my toolpath. So I'm done here and what I need to do is save this out. So I'll do file save as and I'm going to save this as an SVG to my desktop. Okay, we're done in Inkscape, so I'm going to quit. So we've got our vector SVG that we're going to take into PyCam. I'm using PyCam version 0 0.5. And I'll go ahead and open that SVG we just created, and that's on my desktop. And here I am. So I'll enlarge this a little bit so I can see this is my two-dimensional vector drawing laid out in the world space uh, that my CNC is going to be running in. I want to go ahead and set a couple options here in PyCam. Um, so I'm going to go up to the settings menu, preferences. Uh, my units are inches. Under G code, I want to set my safety height to probably a one or a two. So um, that's the, the vertical height that the machine will use when it's uh, traveling between parts of the toolpath. And since this is a flat uh, vector pattern that we're drawing with, it doesn't really matter what the height is, just as long as it's a little bit above zero. Okay, and I think that's good as far as settings. So I can close out here. So now I'll go ahead and set up my tools. There are default tools in here and I'm just gonna edit one of these. So I'm gonna edit the cylindrical tool and my tool diameter, I'm going to set to an eighth of an inch. So 0 0.125 inches. My feed rate for this, um, it's gonna depend on the material. Uh, for now, I'm gonna set this to about 75. Uh, and spindle speed, if your CNC can directly control the spindle speed, you'll need to worry about that. Mine can't, so I'm just going to leave that setting alone. And that's all set. So now let's go to processes, and I'm going to look at this gravure process. Uh, this is basically an engraving process, so I'm actually going to rename this. So. so I can remember. And... Right now, this is pretty much set up to do a direct tracing uh, where the center of the tool is right over each of these vector lines. And that's actually what I want. I'm going to use this uh, actually with a, a pen adapter. So I'll make a ballpoint pen drawing uh, of my face here. If I were using um, a tool to actually cut this out of material, um, I would want to set my offset to half of the width. So if I was cutting this with an eighth inch bit, I would set this offset to a sixteenth of an inch, but in this case I actually want to directly follow right over each of these vector lines when I do the toolpath. Okay, so that's all set. Um, I'm going to go up here to Tasks. And I'm not doing any of these other ones this time, so I'm just wanting this task. and. Again, by default, this is named Gravure, so I'm going to change this to Tracing Task. And the tool that I'll be using is that cylindrical one I set up. Process is going to be my tracing process, and 10% margin should be fine for the bounds. Um, so that's kind of the, the area beyond uh, the extents of your, uh, your 2D or your 3D model that the machine is allowed to travel. And so you can see if I set the bounds to minimum, 
that box there gets smaller so that's kind of the the allowable area that the machine can travel in so 10 percent is going to work pretty good for that so we're all ready to generate a tool path here so i'm just going to click generate and i can go up to my tool path and i can see here in the preview it's updated uh, the areas in green are where the machine is going to be raised up above uh, the flat surface and traveling around to different parts of the image. Um, the red here is where uh, the tool or the, the pen is going to actually be in contact with um, the material that we're working with. Okay, so we're all ready to export. So I'm just going to export this to the desktop as an NGC file. Okay, so we're all done in PyCam, so I'll quit. And on my desktop here, I have this NGC file. So let's just go ahead and open that up and we can take a look real quick. And sure enough, I've got G code here. Now, I'm not actually hooked up to a CNC device on this machine, but uh, what I can do is open up EMC and just do a preview of how it would look uh, if I actually ran this file. So. Let's go ahead and open from the desktop. My G code file. And there we go. I got a nice preview there. You can also do a preview in PyCam. It's a little bit less robust than uh, EMC, but let's just go ahead and see what this would look like. All right, and you can see right there is my uh, tool. And it's just going to go ahead and run through and do all of those little vector passes um, until it eventually draws that outline of my face. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a great quick and dirty open source CNC tool pathing workflow. Um, again, all of this software is free and open source and is available to you pretty easily and uh, I would invite you to give it a try.